the PF5HO high output is exactly the same as the standard PF5 except for the pump that we've added to the system. The machine initially recharges, it refills the exactly the same as the standard PF5. We get hooked up to the vehicle exactly the way we do with the standard PF5. We add the chemicals, uh, we run the car just like we would with a standard PF5 except for except for what pertains to the pump, having a pump added to the system. The pump is a 12 volt pump so the first major difference we're going to have is we're going to hook up, a, we're going to have to have a power source for the machine. The next difference, the, the, the thing we're going to have to watch the most on the machine is we're going to have to pay attention to which direction the fluid flows through our sight glass. So when we start the, when we start the vehicle, it's, it would be nice or it's, it's good to have the machine placed to where you can visually see which way the fluid is going to flow through the sight glass. The reason we want to watch, reason we want to watch for that is because where we have to place the pump, the pump's in one of the service hoses. It, the pump is located in between the vehicle and the machine. That way the rectifier block flowing the right direction within the machine still works like it's supposed to. Okay, So depending on which way the fluid is flowing in that particular service hose is going to depend which way it's going to flow through our sight glass. Depending on which way it flows through the sight glass is going to depend which way we kick our switch on, either from left to right or, or right to left. So at this point, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to put the machine where I can see it. I'm going to have the machine in bypass, and I'm going to start the vehicle. As I'm watching, I can see I watch the fluid go from left to right. I'm also watching, I, I also can tell, one, we've got some, some air bubbles going through the sight glass. And also, as you can tell, we can see the one pellet, the one bullet, the, under, the other bullet is underneath the black dot. So the one that we can see is going to be the one, the direction that we go. We can see the bottom one. It's going from left to right. So when we're ready to do the service, we will flip the switch to the right. Once again, we're going to check, make sure that we don't have any leaks. We're going to check, we got pressure, we got good flow. We've determined which direction we want to flip the switch. This is a pretty good candidate for having to use or needing to use the pump. As you can see, we've got decent pressures. I mean, it's not, not high, but we've got decent pressures. But our flow, I mean, we've, we've got hardly no flow whatsoever. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to process. And we're going to flip the switch to the right. When we flip the switch, one of two things is going to happen we're going to see we're going to see an increase in flow and also we're going to see either an increase in pressure or a decrease in pressure the reason we're going that's normal the reason we're going to either see an increase or a decrease is once again is the, is where the pumps located the pumps located in between the vehicle and the machine so we're pumping from the vehicle to the machine the pressures are going to go up if we're pumping from the machine back to the vehicle, then the pressures are going to go down. So we're going to go ahead and turn the pump on. It's a new machine, so that having some air bubbles in there, that's, that's normal. As you can see, our pressures went down, so that means we're pumping from the machine back to the vehicle. We had an increase in pressure. The top one's going to be our used fluid, the bottom one's our new fluid. You can definitely tell the difference between the two. 
once again, when we know the service is going to be complete, well, we, can watch, we can watch the indicator on top of our tank and we can watch our gauges. Even though the gauges dropped, we're still going to see a 15 pound difference in the gauges. If you get into a situation where you, or you don't want to see it drop, you'd rather see an increase in pressure. When you see the decrease in pressure, just turn the machine off, turn the vehicle off, switch the hoses, and you would see an increase in pressure at that time. As you can see, it increased our pressure, our flow, increased our flow quite a bit, from almost no no flow whatsoever to around a gallon per minute. Four gallon tank, gonna take four, six minutes to do the service. One thing you're gonna notice is, is we can hear the pump running on the, on the machine. We, you will not, oh, obviously the standard machine doesn't have a pump, so you won't hear the whining, the whining noise of the pump. Once again, we can watch our indicator if we'd like. We can hear the pump running. You can see our indicator coming up. Our indicator's all the way up. Any second now we should see a split in our gauges. And there's your split. We're gonna turn our pump off. I'm going to go back to bypass. We're back to basically no flow on the, on the system. We're going to, just like the standard PF5, we're going to check our fluid levels. If everything's fine, we're going to add our chemical. We're going to disconnect, hook the vehicle back up, start it and make sure that uh, everything's working like it's